on the heels of the UN General Assembly last week, I'm glad to have an international voice with us to discuss how other international cities have dealt with large numbers of migrants coming to their cities. And with that, I will turn it over to Mayor Pumajero. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Um, it's a pleasure to uh, take a few minutes to talk about what we've been doing in Colombia, how we've been able to receive in the last four years or around 150,000 Venezuelans into our city. That's uh, at least 10% of our population um, in which we have found a way with the national government and the international community to grant them uh, work permits and to grant them temporary access to our um, health and social programs and to school uh, programs uh, in which we have 20,000 kids right now from the Venezuelan families uh, going to our schools, attending our uh, public health system, but uh, starting to pay their own way. We've found a way through centers uh, to integrate them into economic life so that they can start working, becoming productive members of society, and therefore um, helping us out in um, terms of growing the economical, uh, I would say, um, scenario of our, of our city and therefore uh, making them a part of the city instead of having to subsidize their way. That's, I think, been the shift that we've done in the last few months. Instead of trying to subsidize um, mm. everything that the, a migrant needs, we've tried to make sure that they can get uh, a job, that they can get an income generating source, and therefore they can start paying their way through uh, paying for a lease, uh, paying taxes and whatnot. And that I think has been the difference. And I think I applaud the, the decision of uh, the New York mayor's office to tackle this head on. Thank you so much, Mayor. Um... It's just so interesting because there's so many similarities of what you're saying is, is occurring for us right now and that you all have pivoted and really looking towards this path forward, which is about people working and about not subsidizing on your own and really how the federal, your you know, national government has helped with that.